Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Advanced Roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn about the warning section in Jira Advanced Roadmap and how you can utilize the warnings that are displayed in the Jira Advanced Roadmap to rectify the issues within your plan. Now warnings is the very important feature and will help you a lot when you are doing the portfolio level planning or the long term planning because it will easily identify based on the certain rules and the input that you provide into your issues and provide a very clear picture of the issues that might happen during your planning okay so say for example if you see this uh, here at the top there is a warning tab here the button if you click on that you can show the warning or you can disable warning altogether so it is advisable that you always have this turned on because then it will auto detect the issues the common issues that can happen in the plan say for example here in this case there are certain rules right issue start date or end date set beyond the due date right so if there is something that is being done like this in your plan or in your issues then it will identify those issues and it will list those issues here as far as these toggles are enabled okay and this show warnings enabled if i'll disable that it will stop showing any of the warnings okay the next important thing is you can filter whatever issues are being affected by any of these rules by just pressing this toggle filter issues with warning and it will show you how many issues are being affected with any of these rules okay so here's so for example issue dates outside of the assigned sprint right so this clearly shows that i have assigned the sprint to certain issues right so there are two affected issues as well as i have done some planning for those issues or i have modified the dates for those issues which are not within the assigned sprint range right so say for example issue dates outside of the assigned sprint so if we check these aara 2 and 3 here right there is an sprint that is assigned which is iara sprint 1 for both the issues but then it might be possible that somebody or while planning i would have moved it outside of the sprint okay the duration is not within the sprint so if that's the case that's where it will detect automatically and then you can go ahead and fix these issues either you remove the sprint okay in that case and that will be resolved or you go ahead and make sure that the timeline of these issues fall within the sprint okay so basically you have to do either ways you have to either remove the start and end date or you have to use the sprint okay not both because then it might it will cause you know um, i mean you you can use both but it has to be within the sprint range so say for example sprint is of two weeks okay then in that case let's move this here okay so we get here we'll see issue so you'll see issue now this is having two issues issue issue dates uh, outside of the assigned sprints so in this case I have to have it within the sprint right and then it has this start and end date as well okay so you can have both but you have to make sure that the duration for the issues is within the sprint okay so here now if you if i hover over this warning now the only warning is that this uh, issue is starting before the parent okay and these are the child issues okay so they can't basically start before the parent right so because parent is the root level issue and once any issue start started within the parent that means the parent or the work item on the parent item started right so you either adjust the parent date okay so that there is a start date of the parent that aligns with the issues and now you will see there are no issues that are being affected with any of the misalignment okay so this is how you will work with the warnings and ensure let me remove this filter okay and ensure that all of the plan that you are doing is basically in in terms of timeline when you are assigning the sprint and the start date and end date it is basically aligning with the sprint start and end date and the values that you are putting in the start and end date of the issues it is basically aligning within the sprint or it is not starting before the parent or it is not ending after the parent so there are many rules if you go here it has to be issue dates outside of the assigned sprint unresolved issues after inferred end date so many rules are there which will help you to identify the issues during your planning and help you to rectify all of those okay so that's basically all about the warnings and how you can utilize warnings in jira advanced roadmap to rectify common planning issues that happen very frequently so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching